G'day everyone, TGP here and welcome back to This Is The Police 2. We've just selected our uh, shift for tomorrow. We've had to select some really tired cops because she won't work, he won't work, and she won't work. So the actual guys who've had rest won't work. Oh, hang on. Oh, and he won't work. But the tired ones will work. <sighs> I wonder what he's doing. See him, Pedro. Has he already ordered a drink? What? What Chihuahua? Are you sure you're looking at the right guy? Uh, do you see a basket of strawberries? Pedro, 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 not everything is important. It doesn't matter how he's dressed. A basket of strawberries. Do you see it? Don't know who this guy is. Has, has he already started eating the strawberries? What is he talking about? All right, about? all right, Pedro. Don't worry about that. If he's eating strawberries from a basket, then he's the one we need. No doubt. Just, all right, just wait until he's eaten all the strawberries and then approach him, right? Right, right, Pedro. Right, right. I'll be waiting for your call. Just stick to the plan, all right? What was he talking about? Pedro? It's me. Oh, oh Jack. Yeah, I was sure you must be dead. Look, Fry, I, I know that I, I... I hear there's a federal agent who's interested in you. Ooh. He's already reached Millington. From there, I think he'll be uh, heading north. What do you think, Jack? Has he picked up your trail? Fry, let's just talk. Jack. How happy he'll be to find out you're still alive. A, a, a young agent, a, a, let's call him Chris, dreaming of a brilliant career. He wants to prove to his alcoholic father that he's made something of his life. And the girl, let's call her uh, Tanya. She's recently left him. So he'd just love to play the hero all over the front page and then just rub her nose in it. <laughs> oh, oh, and it's Chris, be weird. Chris, has an arrogant colleague, too. Uh, let's call him uh, Tommy, who's always laughing at him. <laughs> what is this guy on? Oh, 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 wait. You know what, Jack? I think Tommy's fucking Tanya. I mean, this whole time. <laughs> How could I have missed it? Tommy's fucking Tanya. And worse, the alcoholic father is banging Tanya, too. I mean, they're all fucking around over there. And... And just think about poor old Chris. Fry, let's just... This guy's just oh, making up stories oh, in his head. By the way, did I mention that Chris has a, a bit of a stutter? Uh, naturally, that meant problems at school. Oh, and not just at school, but at the academy, too. Yeah, 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 he was nearly kicked out of the academy twice, even though his marks were brilliant. <laughs> Imagine, they were ready to kick the guy out just because he stutters a little. <laughs> no. Nobody wants to have anything to do with them. You know what that's like, Jack, huh? And suddenly, our stutterer Chris, less than six months at the Bureau, he catches a fugitive off the federal wanted list. And not just anyone, but Jack Boyd, the king of corruption. I mean, the symbol of our whole society's disintegration. This guy's annoying me. I wish he'd get punched in the face a with a mop. Cap. Nobody else could do it. But there's just something about Chris, you know, Jack? Good Lord, Fry, it's just... Now, Tanya wants to fuck him, and the prom queen Sharon wants to fuck him, and even Susie the ballerina, who turned him down on three separate occasions, because she didn't want to have anything to do with the fucking stutterer. Well, now Susie is showing off her pirouettes in his bedroom. And it's all thanks to you, Jack. All thanks to the fact that you couldn't stick to our simple arrangement... And answer the fucking phone when I call. I couldn't pick up the phone because at the moment when you called, the phone was literally being shot at. And then hey, I... You're one lucky bastard, Jack. I mean, you, you are lucky that I have such a cold black heart, completely incapable of compassion, without batting an eyelid. I will leave that poor stutterer Chris with me. Oh, uh, what is this I'll guy doing? Calls, and he'll turn right around on that road he's on to Sharpwood and return to his miserable life of the lonely loser. He's just not the right man for Tanya. I mean, some people just aren't made for each other, you know. <laughs> Is he done? True. You'll have to pay me twice as much. Twice? 20000 But I only oh, just... Th th that's not the worst of it, Jack. You not only have to pay me twice as much, but you'll have to do it four times as often. 20000 a week. I hope whatever four. mess you got yourself in, uh, you still got all your fingers, or, or at least enough of them to pull out a bank transfer. How long until the next payment? Huh? Four days? Uh, come on. 
Let's talk, oh, like... Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. God, I have another four bite dice playing 20 I'm grand. that Mr. Cervantes just finished eating his strawberries. His what? Strawberries? Listen, Fry, I'm just asking you... Well... I regret Fuck. spending that money on the fortune teller. Let's see what November 27 brings for us. Who doesn't want to come into work? What a shock. Oh, she's... Yeah, flower pots. Welcome back. Oh, God. <laughs> Done a fairy hard at work. What? What? He proposed. She's going to retire. Oh. He's one of my experienced cops. Yay. Every cop has his own opinion about you and your methods. Your more dedicated employees won't refuse to work over time. And we'll even help with your off-the-books assignments, but you can't expect much for anything from cops who don't like you. Oh, he's got a hat on! Oh, he's got a hat on! Oh, I was kind of hoping there were going to be more. Uh, you should have got a head on your shoulders, the ointment, uh, which cured our wounds like a dream. Hey, what? Yeah, go to the funeral. That's cool. So, I... I don't know. Why are they not assigning the tasers? Shooting. You need a taser. You are good at shooting. I think. Yes, you are. Ah, uh, you're very tired. But you're good at shooting. What cop isn't tired? Every cop I know is tired. Constantly tired. All right, let's see what this day brings us. Oh, we have to assign people. Um, got no intelligence. You're shooting. You've got some. You can do that one. Um, Belmont, how are you? You've got some intelligence. You can do that one. What music are we going to listen to today, Jack? Small, more smooth jazz. Uh, 20,000 every week. I have 26 at least. Uh, the funeral. When time to time, sharp resources may come to you with personal requests. Of course, this works off the books, but sometimes assignments list can earn extra money. Oh, really? Oh, okay, Sycamore Street. Uh, he wants coins? Tell her. To tell her the coins are connected to the federal investigation at the state and the economy. Alright, uh, Loftus, you can't do it, because you're my most junior. Yeah, that was my bad. You killed him. What? Alright, you can have two grand. Got enough still at least to cover my costs. In hostage. Uh, think the boss hostage failing to give him a raise. I'm gonna try and not use Jacob because he's so tired. This is nice music, actually. Terrible curse. Okay. So, I got a thousand. Okay, so I, I paid two grand, but I got a grand back. Right. Uh, well, I got a colleague with a decent funeral. Thanks for letting me go. Well, now you're back, mustard. Get to work. A uh, young guy in a shirt and tie is holding Paris to his boss's throat. It's here. We can tase him. No one gets raised through violence. And the sh Let's use you for that. Full, yeah. Cool. 
Hey, uh, you can have a bit more shooting. Yeah, luck. Nice. <clears throat> Wish I could just sign this guy to do stuff. Unlawful assembly. A group of atheists are noisily demanding that church shut down. Well, I suppose I want someone with good negotiation. Uh, it's him. Oh, no. She's good negotiator. And I just need to send someone to get some experience. Uh, Clumsy. I wonder how I wonder how you get them to be more loyal. Like, what do you have to do to get them to be more loyal? Is it just a, a time-based thing? I wonder, or is it that you have to successfully apprehend people? Or um, religion is night filled with monsters. Woman in a horn and glasses carrying the origin of species by Charles Darwin. Calm down the crowd. Hey. Yeah, the station for further discussion. Nice. Good work, guys. 541 in progress. Uh, girl and Trufield Cup, we've got a person at home. When the gas station is learned that she's any money demand the girl, suck him for every gallon. Far out. Um, I don't even know who you'd send for this. And Loftus just to get the experience. Things how these guys are on their way back. Uh, as the girl's hands tied with a hose and he's forced to her knees, he's threatening her as he unbuttons his pants. Uh, you move a muscle and I pour gasoline down your throat and set you on fire. Is anyone sneaky? You're kind of sneaky. Yeah, yeah, we got him. Nice. Uh, we'll give you some stealth. Off this mission, your first cops. Your cops' very first shot will be noiseless. That's handy. That's handy. Loftus isn't going out anymore. He's too tired. Extortion. Drunk labor is extorting fair money from people who are waiting for the bus. 255. So Clemsy can deal with that on his own. Uh, no, I'll send Climsy and Loftus. Uh, Climsy and Loftus. I know he's tired, but I kind of want to get some experience up on him, seeing as how he's so loyal. That's right around the corner. Uh, a short fat lady lies is pulling up at the purse of a tall girl. Let's see if you don't need cash. You restrain him. You got good strength. For an old guy. Arrest him, you get a free rider right to the police station. Yeah. Glimsy's leveled up. Okay, let's give you a little bit of stealth, and that way he has one of everything at least. Ah, uh, and Loftus, nice! Um, I want some intelligence on you, please. You can see further. Nice. Now you're not going anywhere because you're too tight. I think you're tired, I'm exhausted. Ah, uh, attempted murder. Oh, God. Uh, pick up a girl on the street when she blew him off. He followed her back to my house, made a Molotov cocktail, and threw it through her window. Jeez, okay. Um, you can go. Who else is recently? Okay, I just need 150 more. We'll send Birch and Loftus. Why not? <laughs> Loftus is just going on everything today. Oh no! Uh, okay, that's my fault. I shouldn't have sent him. So when they get in the red, don't send them. Sorry, Loftus. It's only two days. I think, yeah, two days in the hospital. I got greedy. Shouldn't have sent him. Hopefully he comes back fully rested. She did. So. Oh, here we go. Uh, no new clues. And no new clues. All right, well. Oh, hang on. First floor. Outside the man with his hands on his hips at Murray's handiwork. Sneak. You have some stealth. Order him to sus 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 surrender. And I'll get him with a taser. Let's just get him with a taser. Oh, hang on. Yeah. The cops stunned the suspect with a taser shot. Meanwhile, one's cracking me out through the flame window. The front door is covered in flames. Rush in the building. Wait for the truck. Circle around the building. 
Maybe circling around is probably the best. Please. Hey, through the backyard, pull the girl from the burning building, she inhaled some smoke. She'll be alright. Nice. And you've leveled up so you can have some strength. And we know what those are. Knock out, man. I wanted to get to 1 a.m. I don't want any more jobs. <laughs> oh, wedding funeral. What? <sighs> Today I married and became a widow. Yes, my carrot cream wasn't young. He was a real man and a retired cop. What? I was celebrating our wedding and everything was magical until it was time for the traditional dance. Cream and I had fun. His heart seized up. I think you either love you guys to help yourself to our table. Please come take everything back to the station. Eat your field cake, take the rest of your troubles. Most of all, take that stuff away. Okay. I guess. Five eleven in progress. Hit and run. Two drunk guys racing their motorcycle and accidentally hit an invalid who was slowly crossing the road. One motorcycle was turned over and its rider was killed. The other rider was turned to evade arrest. So we probably want someone with intelligence. Not you. So probably flower pots. Aronovich. Send those two. 1 a.m. Okay, so we're done. Uh. I was trying to look at the investigations we have. We can't... I can't do it. And they're there. What are we going to have to do? Okay. Uh, the rider's bald had a man wearing riding goggles. Leave onto it? No. Order him to stop. Good negotiation skills should help. Yay! Got him. And Flowerpots is level up. Yeah! Let's give her one shooting at least. And we just wait for him to come back, and we're done for the day. Look at that, and only one guy got injured. That's not a bad effort, really. End the day. Oh, six criminals arrested, yeah. And we didn't lose any, even though someone got injured. Alright, we need some new people. Okay, so Chapman's a drinker and he's not loyal, so... But he's got full stats. Oh, that is so tempting. He's got full stats, but he's a drinker and he's not loyal. You come with a taser and a cartridge. Replaces the one I killed, I suppose. And for the next day, one, two, three, four, five. You had a day off, so you can work. Uh, work, 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 work. Unless they specifically ask for the day off, or they're exhausted. Uh, not. They are gonna work. Oh, that'd be right. Fifteen out of seventeen. That's not bad. We end the day. Hello? Yeah, I'm listening. It's me. I'm listening, Lily. I decided that I wanted to talk about... about the woman. What woman? About the woman with the coins. Lily, do you realize that you're calling me in the middle of the night? It was wrong, Jack, what you did. I'm not trying to exaggerate. It's not the worst thing you could... I, I don't want to compare it with... I want to tell you that I think it was wrong, and... I think that you yourself understand that it was wrong. Woman with the wrong? coins. Lily, go to sleep. Jack, I want to... I just want to make sure that we're seeing eye to eye on this. That we're on the same team, you know. It's important to me. For a cop, nothing's more important than a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. Other than that. It seems I'm more like a nanny than a cop. And I'm all cop. <laughs> He's being such an ass to her. Alright, everyone. I've been TGP. This has been This is the Police 2. We're going to leave it there. Um, please leave your thoughts, comments, feedback, and suggestions, like I say in every video, down in the comments section so that I can uh, sort of, you know, tailor the channel to, to, to how you guys 
might like it to be. But uh, other than that, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll chat to you all next time. Goodbye.